Hey everyone, welcome back to our video. It's been such a long time since I made a proper video because I've been focusing on other things in my life, so this is sort of nice. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. Today we're going to be reviewing popular animation meme YouTuber Chris Lai. Chris Lai over the past few months has been caught in drama due to him being caught tracing over other people's artwork in the animation meme community. So anyways, I'm going to be reviewing his artwork and his animations in this video. Anyways, let's begin. So the first thing I want to talk about is his OCs. At the moment, he has two furry OCs. Sapphire or Sapphire is his main OC, and the other one, who I believe is Chris Lai, also sometimes appears in his videos. I do feel like Sapphire and Chris Lai look very similar, except some colors are different. They also have a lot of similarities to our YouTubers, especially Rossiel in their earlier designs. Something that I noticed in his videos is that his OCs look very lifeless due to him staring at the camera. Next thing I want to talk about is his art style. I gotta say that his art style is something else. I noticed that it's changed constantly, most likely due to art tracing. His anatomy is quite disproportionate, especially on how he draws boobs. His art style looks very 2D and flat, which makes his art look more lazy than other artists in the animation meme community. He also doesn't trace only animation memes, but he also traces anime pictures. And this is bad because nobody can find the original artists of a lot of anime pictures because they tend to spread like wildfire. So the next thing I want to talk about is his videos. So his animations are pretty simple and they follow the cliche of most animation memes. Simple bouncing frames that tend to repeat. It's not anything too good, but I would say that every single one of his animations are traced. Once he started getting called out, automatically he started deleting most of his videos to prevent damage. People were able to save them, and a lot of the videos are deleted, are purely traced, and you can easily tell who you trace them from. I noticed that more of his recent videos, he's starting to become clever on covering up his tracing. So the next thing I want to talk about is his personality. Even though he has tons and tons of people who call him out each day, nothing has really been done against him. I believe his channel actually got terminated, but recently he just came back. If people call him out in the comment section, he deletes the comments. He also declines tracing other people's artwork, even though it's pretty clear that he does. Also, something that bugs me a little is that in his older issue, you can notice that there's not safe for work My Little Pony artwork in the back. This has multiple issues. First of all, the audience of his videos go to 19 to 18 year old children. And also, showing that is against the law, unless if you're 18 and above. Also, the ponies in My Little Pony have a certain age that is estimated around 17 to 20. And honest opinion, if they were under 18, this could technically be child pornography, and this is just plain wrong. Also, it's been rumored that he was asking fans that are under the age of 16 to send him news when he is 23. So next thing I want to talk about is his audience and fan base. Even though he traces, he does have quite a big audience. With over 40,000 subscribers and he's still growing, people also brought the possibility that he could also be buying his subscribers. I think this could be uh, true because his subscribers, last time I checked on it was like a few weeks ago, he had like 20,000 subscribers and now he gained twice more. It's kind of strange. Also, it was mentioned that he, there was fake bot accounts of popular animation meme YouTubers like Starcat and Wolfie Chu commenting on other people's videos recommending them to subscribe to Chris Lai. My problem with his fan page is he constantly gets fan art. I do not recommend making him fan art because a person who made fan art of him recently got traced in his most recent animations. It's not a good idea. I get that you might do it as a joke or if you find his OC cute. It's not good, you shouldn't be giving him stuff. Also, recently on announcement of a Twitter, he even got a sponsorship from Huion, aka it's a drawing company who's competing with Wacom currently, to review one of his tablets. This is plain wrong, and no person who traces art shouldn't do this, especially because he's stealing hard work from other artists. So, this is the end now. So, what is my advice to Chris Lai and other people who trace? It's to stop tracing and learn how to draw properly. Drawing may be hard at first, but you'll get too used to it, and it's really fun once you do. And even if you are having trouble, there are 
a place called YouTube who has tons and tons of tutorials on how to draw properly and it's not right to steal other people's ideas and stuff it's just plain wrong and that's the whole purpose of art anyways to be creative so that's pretty much all for this video and don't send any hate to crystal eye i would just report his channel so it gets flagged down and don't support him like on Patreon or any of his other social medias like donating him money. It's not right and don't do that. Support the other artists that he traces. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed and goodbye.